Hey guys and welcome to the third episode of how to make a more player game and today uh, we're just going to be doing the basic stuff before we get into programming so we're going to be making finishing off our level so off camera I've got the living room sorted out I've added an extra wall here so this will be empty so that people can just run around um, this will be empty as well so if you had and you have actually space to run out so we've got our entertainment room with two pool tables, one large TV, some seats, some sofas, let's say, and then two sofas here and three chairs. And also a living room with a fireplace, uh, shelves, table, and sofas as well. So, yeah, alright. So we're going to be finishing off our level, so we're going to end up me adding doors. I don't know if we script the doors so that we can open them and close them I'll see. And yeah, so we're just going to be adding the full wall. So I'm going to be making another wall right here so that it goes all the way. So that it goes all the way around the whole map. So if you do the following right now and do your boundary of the map. So I'll just use this wall because it's the biggest. Um, copy and paste that. And then Make sure you rescale it correctly. Copy paste and then just do the following. Just drag it all the way to the very end because we will not be having. Actually, no, we can't do that. Uh, just copy and paste that and just rescale it again. And what we're going to do is add this texture. So we're going to just drag that onto that wallpaper so that it matches the whole thing right so that so that it matches the game alright then okay so when that's done do the same thing on this side so just copy and paste that, drag it all the way towards there, and then right here. This one has to be right in front of the right in front of the toilet wall, because this is basically yeah. You guys will understand soon. I think copy and paste it once again onto that side um, also we're gonna have to add floorings I'll just make a little space here so that people can actually hide in uh, right then So this will just stay how it is. Um, let's see if we can actually fit in there. At the moment it's dark so I haven't added directional light as I've removed it to see how the game looks. So it looks pretty nice, I like it. Alright. So yeah, people will be able to come in here. We'll block this wall off here. The crouch um, works as well from the previous episode where we added a uh, crouching script and the speed and sprint. So when that's done, alright, uh, just copy that wall and just close it off. If you have any errors like behind like here, it doesn't matter because no one will see that. So don't worry about that. Okay. Alright. Uh, so that's done. We gotta get the flooring sorted out, so um Alright, hang on that moment. We're gonna have to extend this wall. So the door we said it will be around here, right? So copy paste that. Just drag it along there. Well, I think we've lost our map. There it is. Actually, just click on on them. Okay, so this is our door. We will be able to fit through that. I hope. Um, we're gonna have to add another wall. So copy and paste that one, rescale it. All right. 
right, and then just get a. We're gonna have to get brick um, texture, so. I believe this one looks pretty cool, so I'll just take this one. It's just out random. Depending on the quality as well, to be honest. Alright. Looks pretty cool. So we take this and drag it into our textures. Okay. Takes a while. And then just drag it right onto that one. That should look pretty cool. So just drag it on the other half. If it needs to be rescaled, then just rescale it, obviously. Copy paste and then rescale it for that little bit here. There we go. Okay, this might be annoying, ignoring, um, this might be annoying a bit, but, uh, I believe it has to be like this. So, we're gonna create the ground now, so, we're also, um, gonna create a wood piece here. Okay, so when that's done, you want to do the outside bit. So we're gonna have a gonna be and paste that. So the outside won't be that big. It will be about. It will be basically like this. So when it's like this, what we're gonna do is just do the following. We're not going to have Napsters for this level, but uh, I hopefully make another season with another level for this game uh, with the Napsters. Uh, so, yeah, stay tuned for that. And now, I do apologize because my I'm actually quite ill. So, it will be quite hard. Uh, copy and paste that wall there, uh, and then just drag it for a boundary. So, it don't really matter. So, drag it right there. That brick will we'll re um we'll change the text just to don't matter. Um Alright. Copy paste, rescale that. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's try. Uh, wait, I think that should be good uh, with brakes. Because it looks pretty cool. Uh, okay then. Uh, what we're going to do now? Go into game object and 3D object and add a cube. So we're going to add a bush or like a flower plant or something. I don't know. Uh, make sure it's above the ground. Rescale that to that. Alright then. Um, 
we're gonna go back to Google and actually look for a which I believe is flower pod texture if not then I do apologize and I believe we'll just use this one just for a test let's see if it's actually I'm looking for all right then um okay what we'll need to do get now is actually go into environment create a new folder and create a folder called flowers uh, flowers slash bushes all right if you go back to your browser and go to the site um, called tf3dm.com it gives you all three models and we're going to be looking for push right so this should be good don't know that okay so just wait for it to download if you want you can get more ladies for that so I'm gonna have to uh, we'll be having this one and I'll also have this one okay so this one is downloaded already uh, we just wait for this one Create a folder on your screen, name it whatever you want, drag this uh, right into that folder and also drag this one if you download the same as me uh, also drag this push into that folder the reason for that is because you need to extract the files and then just drag it right into your environment into your flower, flowers bush um, and just wait for it to import Okay, and that's done. Um, drag down one if you have downloaded two. One and just drag one, obviously. Um, I believe that one ain't gonna work. Oh well. Uh, so we've got this one. So let's just. Oh crap, that's the texture. All right, man. This is. I somehow actually can't read these stuff. So luckily, I've got my textures right here. I can actually find. Them. So assets, environment, live bush, bush, and then is this serious? Um, uh, somehow this is actually. Oh, there we go. And that's much better. Okay, uh, just drag them right into that pond. Make sure people are able to walk through them because they want to hide in them, right? So like, yeah, so that people can actually hide inside them. Wherever they are, just look for them. Uh, I believe they're up here, so just copy them, copy and paste them, and then just drag them towards that side so that there is quite a lot of them. 
and then just a bit more to this corner here. So about, uh, oops, not that wall. Copy paste, and there we go. So if we actually play it and go into that bush, um, that trees, then hop into those trees, then we should be able to go through them. Okay, this will. That's a bit small. So yeah, we can add in it. You can't. You can't see nothing, and they can't see you, which is actually pretty awesome. Um, so this episode was quite short, but I'm gonna get this fixed. And to be honest, I'm gonna get this one fixed right now. And yep. So we should be able to fit through this now. And the last thing we need to do is actually add a roof. So if we get um, this whole player down onto the ground, make sure it's above the ground, otherwise you'll drop through. Um, so yeah, that looks pretty cool. Now we need to create a new cube, uh, game object, 3D object, cube. Make, put it to like a corner so that it's easier for you to actually drag um, okay so when that's done just drag it all the way um, across one side Okay, so we look all right. So that's good. That's basically what we want. And now I just drag it all the way across. Descent. When I stand, if you press play, you should be able to like um, see that route. And you might be able to go through it, but uh, I get this fixed. Don't worry. So when you jump, you will be able to go through. Same as crouching and you let go, you will be able to go through as well. So I get this fixed in another episode. So this is the end for this part. And if you guys enjoyed, please smash that thumbs up button. And I'll see you guys back in another episode where we'll be fixing these errors and we will be adding uh, more player service. So I'll see you back then and peace.